What's up everybody, it's Travis with Coyote Moon. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna showcase a few different hero layouts, uh, three in particular. Uh, oftentimes you look at a Squarespace site and you think, oh, it's pretty cookie cutter, um, pretty outdated. So um, this is actually one of the designs that I'm gonna be showcasing today. And I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create a landing page that's a little bit different from the norm. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we're taking a look at the back end of a blank canvas. This is a blank template. Um, I have added the, uh, the site title, uh, the main navigation links and a call to action. Um, if you guys wanna know how to uh, space those out and what the site style settings are for each of those, feel free to uh, shoot me a comment in the link below. Also, you can always send me an email at travis at coyotemooncreative.com. Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is just recreate what you just saw with that beautiful hero section. So basically it's uh, it's using some dynamic elements. Um, it it kind of has this really cool grid layout that fits together like a nice puzzle with some rounded edges, some background colors, and a nice uh, you know image with a, a hand and a mobile phone that really pops on that hero section. So let's dive right in. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add the text on the left-hand column. So to add a text block, we're gonna click add text, and then we are going to Uh, extend the size of that a little bit. So um, this is going to be the section that has the purple background with our uh, headline and uh, subtext. So I'm going to go ahead and write that out. We'll go ahead and set the heading one. So new goals require new knowledge. Cool. We're going to hit space and then we're going to type in our subtext. All right, everyone. Now let's jump in and start creating this hero section. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click add block. We've got our text block, make things a little bit easier. Um, just like we did in the first hero section, we're going to go ahead and reduce the white space here by um, unchecking the fill screen. So click edit section, uncheck fill screen. Now we've got what we want. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our heading, which is building digital products, brands, and, and experience. Okay, so by default, Squarespace always throws in like a paragraph two or paragraph one. So hover over that, select all, and then select heading. Okay, so we're gonna make it a little bolder. So we're just gonna bold that. And now we are getting pretty close to what we want. Okay, that's looking good. I always like to remove the white space there too. Okay, so now you can see kind of where we're at. We've got good spacing below and above. Um, again, just like the first hero section, we're gonna to wanna to capture everything without the scroll. So in that main header area in the hero section, we want to be able to see everything. We don't want to have to scroll down to see any more information. Okay, so we have our headline. The next thing we're going to do is add another block and we're going to select image to the right. And this is going to be our sort of oval circular image. And we're going to add um, some animation, not some animation, but we're going to add a uh, blur and background color to that as well. So we're going to extend that to the full width and again, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit G on a Mac so I know where I'm at, is we are going to add an image and we're gonna go ahead and search for Team Excited. Let's see what comes up here. Um, let's just punch in marketing team. Try to get a good image here. Okay, scroll down to see if there's anything that we would want to use. And it looks like that's our image. Okay, 
Awesome. So we're going to try to recreate exactly what we have on the original site. I'm just trying to find the stock images. I use Unsplash. It's a free integration with Squarespace. It is absolutely awesome. It allows you to choose from uh, hundreds of thousands of stock images for free. It's directly integrated. You can type in anything and it comes up. It's not the most extensive library, but um, there's also an integration with Getty where you can pay $10 for uh, more premium images. So either way. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to shape this image a little bit and I am going to select more of a 3-2. So click design, click shape, under shape, go to 3-2 and that's the aspect ratio. So, um, you know, 3-2 is going to be more perfect and set and ready for your hero image because it's going to be a wide full bleed. Um, okay, so we're going to select more of the oval and then we're going to go back and we're going to click stretch. And that's just going to expand that a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a shape block to the background. I'm going to hover over, drag that into place. And now we're going to change this background color to black. Custom. Perfect, now it's black and we're gonna shape it just like the other one. So we're gonna click into shape. We're gonna select, let's see what shape we're going for here. That, okay. Sometimes it'll snap into place. Sometimes you have to hit stretch for it to get that oval appearance. And then we're also gonna add a drop shadow. And the drop shadow is going to be a 45 degree angle because we want it facing left as you're looking at the screen instead of right. 145 would be right. The shadow is going to face left on the screen. So towards the heading and we are going to set it at a distance of 25 PX. Oops, 25 PX. And we're going to set the blur to 20. See how that looks. Okay. And we're going to set a custom blur effect to that. And now we are going to move that to front and that's looking pretty good. Okay. It's coming together. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another little headline and we're going to not a headline. Sorry. We're going to add another subtext. Um, so this is going to be a little bit broken up. We're going to have the Heading on the left and then the subtext directly underneath the image. So we're going to click add block, select text and move that over here, extend the width and add our text. Oops. Okay. And it looks like that's all looking great. And okay. Cool. Um, okay, so that's a little tight. I'm gonna probably move that down a little bit out of that shadow. And okay, that's looking good. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag down and increase the number of rows. And we're gonna add our big, wide, full bleed image. So we're gonna do that by adding an image block. We're gonna drag that down. We're going to snap that into place right there. That's looking great. And I think we're going to add a rounded corner of 40, just like the other example. So I like to set up the rounded corners ahead of time, just so that they're all ready to go. So you click the pencil icon, click design, just like we did last time, and then add a 40 um, pixel rounded corner to that. Now, we are going to search for our hipster that is going to be our front and center. And there he is. And we're going to click Add Image. Again, these are all free stock images from Unsplash. See how this looks. Okay, so by default, Squarespace is not going to fill the container width. So click design and then click fill. Awesome. Okay. 
and we're gonna increase that a little bit and we're gonna click save, we're gonna click exit and then we're gonna look to see how much space we have. Okay, not a lot of space, huh? Okay, so we are going to move that up, click edit and it's up to you, but I kind of like this, something like that. You can use this uh, little focal point to set um, how that focus is on your image. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay over a bunch of button blocks. So one, click duplicate, two, click duplicate, three. Awesome. Okay. So there's the primary. Secondary, tertiary. Okay, so I have got this set as primary. I'm gonna change this to secondary, change this to tertiary. And I'm gonna go in here and change the size of this. Um, so the next thing we want to do, since this is taking up too much space over that image and it's covering up his lips, we actually want to decrease the width of the button. And to do that, we go into our button section and under primary, that's looking good. Okay. I think I know what's going on. Okay, so this should be set instead of fill, it should be set to fit. So all of these need to be changed to fit. And that is going to showcase your settings. Instead of filling the container space, it's fitting to those dimensions that you set in your buttons site styles. Okay, move that over. Let's see here. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, looking at the original for reference here so that I can get you guys the best hero section possible. And it looks like we can go there and go one more and okay. That's looking a little better. Hmm. Might want to even extend that a little bit more. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Click save. Exit. I'm going to grab this little icon. So to get an icon on your button, um, you can just use the icon functionality on your MacBook. Click edit, hover over, and I'm gonna add that here. And I'm going to add it here and here. Okay, so the last thing we wanna do is we wanna change up um, how these appear since there are three different calls to action to 0 0.5, 0 0.4. There we go. Okay. Click save. I'm just making sure that all the buttons are the same size. You've got primary, secondary, and tertiary. And Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. We might want to just go like this. Give it a little more space. It's getting a little close to his face, but um, that's okay. We can play around with the design a little bit more. Okay, so now we are going to 
change the colors of those buttons. And to do that, we're going to click colors. We're under lightest one, so we're going to click into lightest one. All right, lightest one. So the primary button should be set as Okay, I see what's happening. So the tertiary is what we're focused on. Okay, sorry. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Um, tertiary, let's see. So it's orange. Okay, so we're gonna change the tertiary to orange, secondary, that's good. And then, um, for whatever reason, these buttons default to learn more, but we can change that to what we had, which is innovate social and advance. Okay, bring those together a little bit. Click save, click exit. Get this out of the way. Okay. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the space that's below the image so that we have equal spacing below and above our hero section. So to do that, we're going to need to hover over this, decrease it, bring that up and Hover over all of these items and bring those up and click save and click exit. And now we're getting pretty close. Okay, you guys, um, that is a tutorial on creating just a little different, unique hero section with Squarespace 7.1. So I showed you one version. Um, this is the second. We've got a nice headline on the left. Um, we've got a nice image with a broken up subheading and then a big, long, wide image that's got rounded corners with three calls to action below that. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section here on YouTube. Otherwise, I am going to jump right into the third and final hero section for Squarespace 7.1. So stay tuned. Okay, everyone. So here is the final hero section for Squarespace version 7.1 that I think is uh, shaking things up a little bit, a different layout and feel. Um, and this is all accomplished with the built-in tools with Squarespace 7.1 and Fluid Engine. So I'll just walk you through it really quick. But essentially, we've got the same header um, directly below that. We've got a nice wide, almost full bleed image that we've added rounded corners to with the um, business name there in the top. It's a really cool image of a woman swimming. Um, I always love like that water um, coming off of, of somebody's hand like that. I just think it looks so cool. And having the scrolling uh, text, that's a scroll scrolling block added as a overlay on top of that image. Just really is a nice feel. Um, the way it undulates like that is, um, you know, similar to how water would flow. So I just feel like that all has a really nice look and feel to it. Um, as we move down the hero section, again, just like the other examples, we have uh, symmetry, uh, maybe a little less spacing or a little more spacing on the bottom than the top. So we might want to brush that up a little bit in our final edit. But other than that, We've got a nice call to action um, and, and just the breakup and the layout here is nice. The spacing is good. We've got a call to action directly below the 
the, the header essentially, which is igniting business growth and that scroll block. Um, they can quickly either join in the upper right or join in directly below the image. And like a couple of the other examples with the um, hero sections here, we also have a headline below the button um, and then the subtext up in the upper right. So we're breaking that up a little bit. Obviously, pioneering success is our main um, headline. And so we want to draw the most attention to that. It's big and bold. It's simple. It's straightforward. We've got our logo in the middle here. And then on the far right, we've got some nice um, rounded images, just like the other examples. So um, I'm going to jump in and walk you through step by step how to recreate this within Squarespace. So hang tight. And I guess the first thing we can do is just like the other pages, eliminate the fill screen. Add a block, select image, extend that to the full width of the page. <clears throat> and then we can find that woman swimming. Let's see if it pops up here. Okay, not seeing it quite yet. Let's see here if we can find it. There it is. Perfect. Again, unsplash integration for the win. Uh, okay, so as this loads, we'll see how it displays. And since it's so thin like this, we're going to have to select fill. Um, now we're kind of getting some cropping issues going on here, which is pretty typical for such a wide and narrow height of an image. So to combat that, we're going to go ahead and move the focal point. So now we have got such a cool image of that water coming off of her hand and click save just to make sure we don't lose our work. Okay. And we're going to add the rounded corners. So the rounded corners are going to be 40. Just like our other examples, you can obviously set what other, whatever rounded corners you would like. Okay, so the next measure is going to be to add a text block over top of this image. It is going to be our site title. So growth revolution. Cool. Center that. Make sure we've got our settings dialed in here. And to double check, we've got paragraph two. Maybe we'll make that paragraph one just to make it a little bit bigger. Um, okay, and we're going to add our little logo here. Very cool. Okay, so now this is Growth Revolution. And so now we've recreated the uppermost part of that hero section. I'm going to move this down one. The next thing we're going to do is add a scrolling block. Scroll. So just type in scroll into the search bar. Once you're in the block editor and from here, we are going to manipulate the scroll to look a little bit better. And I'm just going to add some new text here. Delete. Okay. So there's our, there's our call to action within the scrolling block. And now we're going to set the wave intensity here to that first position. Or we're going to set a custom wave width of one. And the textile is heading. The text size is going to also be custom. And that's going to be 2.5. So you can either type that in directly or you can use the slider. Okay. Very cool. So now we've got our beautiful full bleed, almost full bleed image that spans the width of the page and then a scrolling block on top with our site title. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a call to action below here. Uh, 
And to do that, we're going to use a button block. So click, oops, add block, select button block, scroll that down, and one, two, three. Okay, so by default, again, the button block uh, is set to fill, but if we click the pencil icon, we want it to actually fit. And instead of saying learn more, we want it to say join the revolution. So let's change that default text to join the revolution. Okay, that's looking great. Um, now we've got a little bit of a disconnect here with the weight of the font. So we're going to change the weight here to 500. So to do that, we're going to go into the site styles, click buttons. This is our primary and it's currently set to 500. We're gonna change that to 600. Okay. And let's see if we also need to change the font here. 600, okay, perfect. Okay, so this is coming along nicely, our hero section here. The next step, now that we have our call to action, is to add a few more rows to our grid. And we're gonna now add our main call to action. Well, not call to action, but our main headline. And that is pioneering success. So we're gonna do it right below. It's going to span from the edge all the way to here. And I'm going to copy and paste. Looking good. Centered. Centered. Okay, so now we have our call to action. We've got our headline. And now we're gonna add our cool little logo, which I'll just copy. I'll just copy here in my other window. And to add our logo, it's actually just gonna be a simple bit of text. So in this case, it's not an image, um, but we'll just add that there. And figure out our height and width. So we want it four tall and two wide, four tall, two wide, bring that to the middle and now click expand. So this is scaling text. So basically what scaling text does is it takes whatever's within that container and it scales it or expands it to the full width and size of that container. You can just create a little bit larger of a logo in this case. Okay, so that is looking great. And the next thing we're going to want to do is add our little subtext. So, not that. So to add our subtext, we're just going to select a text block. We're going to drag it over here. And it looks like that needs to take up. Three by, we're gonna drag that over to here and center it. I'm just gonna copy and paste the subtext directly in here. And instead of paragraph two, we're gonna change that to paragraph three. So it's gonna be rather small, um, but I think it fits the layout a little bit better. So that looks great. I think we want it on two lines. So there's two lines. And there we go. Now this and this are centered. Awesome. So the next thing we're gonna do is add a couple of image blocks. Just like in our example, we can duplicate just to make that quick and easy. Our images. Um, what we're going to do 
reduce that. Okay, now we'll click save. See how it looks. Okay, so we're getting pretty close here. So basically we're at the stage now where it's just putting the um, finishing touches on the hero section. And the last step that we're gonna do is just make sure that everything's nice and tight the way that we want it to look. So I would probably move these up like that. Okay, now we've got good symmetry. And let's see how it looks on the page. Awesome. So this is a third and final example of a hero section that's a little bit different from what you would typically see uh, within a Squarespace template. Um, this is all done using Squarespace's Fluid Engine Editor, which is a really cool drag and drop system that allows you much more customization and flexibility in your designs. Um, so we use some of the newer features of Squarespace, including the scrolling block. Um, and I just really love the, the layout, the look and the feel. So comment here in the YouTube comments if you guys like this or if you would change it up, what would you do different? Um, if you guys have any questions about how I built this or any other hero image uh, layouts that you guys have questions about, feel free to reach out to me directly. All of my information is in the link. Okay, thanks so much. We'll talk to you guys soon.